Welcome to Can It Mario, the show where we review third-party controllers and at the end, see how well they play Mario. This is the Hyperkin GN6. Look. No, seriously, look. Look! Hyperkin actually purchased the patent from Sega to make this, and it shows. It comes in Genesis and USB. The D-pad feels great. It reminds me a lot of the Xbox 360 D-pad, which some might not like, but I like it. It has weird copy buttons, just like the controller it tries to copy. Think of it like a Snapple cap. Once open, you can press the cap down, and with enough pressure, it will pop all the way down, with no real middle press. I also noticed the cord is very bulky on my Genesis version. It does inspire confidence. I can't speak to the thickness of the USB version though. The connector on the end is also very similar to a Sega one and appears great. The controller has very little flex. It works very well for Sonic 2. No issues. I have no complaints. It works well for Musha, although I had to press a little harder than I would like for movement. Other than that, no complaints. For Street Fighter 2, there's a problem. Most moves were easy to do, except for the one type. When you try to do, say, a right, then down, then lower right corner move, it was not consistent. Diagonal inputs are not a problem in most games, but here it was a problem. Some users have found it's great for the Raspberry Pi, but some have had issues with it not registering. If you're having problems like that, just look on Amazon Customer Questions and Answers and YouTube and you should be able to get it to work. Sorry if you can't figure it out, but don't go to the comment section if you can't get it to work. The Genesis version would be an okay choice for your Retron 5 if you just want a controller and you don't want an official Nintendo or Sega pad at first for some reason. I would recommend the USB one or the Genesis one with a Genesis to PC adapter for Sonic Mania on PC or the Sega Genesis Classic collection. I don't recommend the GN6 for mobile with an adapter, as it's not always 100% compatible. Despite its problems, this is a very good controller. I like it a lot, and I would go as far to say, it's one of the best third-party controllers I have. It's definitely one of the best third-party controllers for the Genesis, if not the best. It's not the best controller for your Sega Genesis, because of Street Fighter, but as a controller, either for your PC or as a secondary controller that you might use yourself sometimes, it's very good. Hyperkin does make good products sometimes. I would know. My dad works at Hyperkin. Also, I would recommend this controller for PC or Raspberry Pi over this Logitech controller. The face buttons on the Logitech are not responsive, and the D-pad is way too hard to press and breaks easily. If you are looking for a 6 button controller for your Genesis, do not be tempted by this one. This is an awful controller. You may be better off with the original 6 button Sega Pad, but I'm just saying, don't get the Majesco one. But can it Mario? Yes. It actually is very good for Mario. Another win for the GN6. Thanks for watching. You might enjoy one of these videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.